our job is to take these powerful tools of product regulation and the incredible resources that Congress has given us uh, along the way to make an impact in reducing the death and disease toll from tobacco use, whether it's through traditional uses of regulatory tools or making an investment in public education campaigns to better inform and educate the public about the harms of tobacco use. We were starting a new center and it was a whole new regulation with an industry that had never been regulated before. And so we really wanted to have an opportunity to have professionals come in, really learn about us, learn about our regulatory authorities, learn about FDA in general. We take mid-career people. They come to us for a year from whatever realm science, research, medicine, policy, communications, and they get immersed in our world. We want people to come in with uh, pretty well established skills in their professional area and what the fellowship will give them is really an enhanced understanding of government, public health, tobacco control, regulation, as well as a lot of opportunities um, to network and to meet people in the field. I was interested in tobacco prevention and cessation you know, through my ongoing work, and this provided really a, a kind of a launching point to um, s grow my research into the new area of tobacco regulatory research. Just being involved with the agency's research and seeing how they you know, think about questions and how that informs the regulatory process was exactly what I wanted to do because then that kind of puts me in a position as a scientist who's you know going on to to, to conduct their own work to conduct research that's more relevant to the agency. I applied for the fellowship when I was working as a regulatory analyst for the New York City Department of Health and um, I really wanted to take the local policy regulatory experience that I had and think about how I could um, apply my skills and my background at a national level. I was seriously considering law school, um, but I really wanted um, professional experience in a regulatory agency um, that did uh, cutting edge work um, focused on the intersection of public health and law. Having those experiences not only inspired me and really supported me in my decision to go to law school, which will clearly affect what I'm doing 10 years from now, but it's also um, a big support even now. There were times when I would find myself walking behind um, a tobacco user on campus and having to inhale the smoke. Um, and I remember going into um, the health center on my campus and asking, what can we do to make the campus smoke free? And that's how I got involved in tobacco control activities and have ever since just been really fascinated with um, the policies and how, and how you make change in a community to, to get to that place where um, gener the future generations will not know what tobacco is, potentially. To be part of the emergence of a whole new area of law, I think, is very exciting. I did a lot of quantitative coursework, um, both before and after going to law school, and I really enjoy that type of analytical study. And I really enjoy sort of the, how shall I say, the transition from research and analytical work into productive, useful results. I've spent my entire career in government work, uh, working for a regulatory agency, primarily enforcing alcohol laws, a little bit on the tobacco side. My intent or my hope is to go back and, and be um, a catalyst for change in my community with the information and knowledge that I've learned here is to go back to the, to the community from which I came and be a resource to help individuals back there implement 
what I've learned. As a marketer, you generally don't get fellowships. So this was something, it was a bit of a pipe dream for me. Um, but I said, you know what? If I don't try, I definitely won't get it. So I wrote three essays, did all my references and everything and, and applied and I was really lucky to get accepted for it. It creates a network of fellows, which is really exciting because I think, you know, a lot of the the um, contacts that I have are in the marketing world. Um, so for me to kind of branch out, um, you know, meet people in Office of Regulation, meet people in Compliance and Enforcement, meet people in the Office of Science is really exciting for me because I think that just broadens sort of my worldview of things. They come away with a much better and deeper understanding of the regulatory process and the role that research and science plays in informing policy making. By spreading that word and, and, and giving people a better understanding of the process, it makes the contributions to the process that much more sophisticated and better. I know it is doing that, and that's why we love this program. <laughs>